We're on our way to Mexico with the RV. Yep, getting ready to head south and just exploring a little bit of Ajo our day before we head down. Good morning and welcome to season four. This is going to be a mini season of our adventures in taking our motorhome to Mexico. And for this first episode, I'm doing all of the preparations that you need to do in order to be able to take your entire home across the land border from the US to Mexico. Uh, today I'll walk you through sort of what we're doing to prepare the motorhome itself and then some of the paperwork and legal obligations that we have in order to take both of our vehicles to Mexico with us and just share some tips of things that we learned along the way. So first, um, there are a bunch of paperwork and forms that you need to fill out and bring with you. Uh, so if you don't have a printer handy in your RV, you definitely want to queue all of this up and um, be able to get it printed before you get there. So the first one is the uh, Mexican FMM form, which is their visa. So if you typically travel to Mexico by air, all of these things are included with your airline ticket. But when you are crossing on the land border and staying any length of time, you need to handle these yourself. Um, so you'll go to the Mexican government website. Do not go to any of the third party websites that are trying to fill out your FMM for you because they're just going to charge you extra money and it's not very hard to do. So when you get to the first page, it's inm.gob.mx backslash FMME. So you get to choose by land or by air, and these uh, buttons in the top right are the languages. So if you need to switch it to English, that's the EN button. Um, so you just click by land, and then you fill out just basic information, your passport and all of that. It does take sometimes a day or two days for the electronic link to come through in your email. Um, so I recommend just printing the final page when you get to the end of this uh, form and then waiting for the email to come, clicking the link, and then printing out the actual form that you get, which I can show you, looks a little bit like this. And then the, the second thing that's required in Mexico if you're taking your vehicles is insurance. So some US insurances may offer um, a Mexico add-on, uh, but you will still need Mexican liability insurance even if your comprehensive is going to stay through your U.S.-based insurance. Um, for us, our policy is out of Florida. They don't offer a Mexican add-on, so we are getting all of our insurance through Oscar Padilla and his website is just mexicaninsurance.com um, and I actually made a mistake and forgot to add the Jeep onto the motorhome as a towed vehicle. Um, so the policies are different if the vehicle is under its own power or if it's being towed. So if you have a motorhome, you'll need to insure the motorhome and the Jeep as it is being towed behind the motorhome and then the Jeep as a separate vehicle so that it can drive under its own power. Otherwise, you probably shouldn't bother bringing it. Um, so here's the MexicanInsurance.com site and we have just done two separate policies, um, one for the Jeep, one for the motorhome, but like I said, I forgot to add the Jeep on and was able to send them an email. It's just customer service at MexicanInsurance.com and they called me back right away and just wanted to confirm how we were setting everything up and added it on, no problem. So then the last piece of paperwork I have here is just for if you have pets, um, but you do need a certificate of rabies vaccination if you're bringing a dog with you, and we are. Maddie's coming with us, so we've got that. She's good to go, um, and otherwise we just made photocopies of our driver's licenses and passports, and we 
won't be offering the original documents to anybody that asks for them. So having one or two copies of each of those um, documents is super helpful and I recommend doing the front and the back of the license and the full open fold of, of the first two pages of your passport. Um, so that's pretty much the paperwork and all the website computer stuff. Now I'll just take you on a quick tour of what we've been doing around the RV to help us get ready. So earlier this week we separated the freezer into things that can go to Mexico, mostly um, non-meat products. You are allowed to have fish and ice cream because I don't think I can get coconut milk ice cream when we get there. And then this is the side of the freezer that was things that cannot go to Mexico. As you can see, we're living in two days and we've done a pretty good job getting it down to nothing. Um, but we do have some frozen fruits and vegetables that still need to get cooked or used. We also got an extra bag of food for Maddie, you are allowed to bring 50 pounds of dog food, and you can see we got these two um, jugs of purified water, and we are planning to just drink the water um, out of the jugs, and we'll fill our RV with the water that they have at the RV park, but we won't drink it. Normally, we do drink it, um, so we're just switching up our system a little bit to use these water jugs and uh, we just wanted to have extra food for Maddie in case we can't find what she's used to. We don't want her to have a, a sick tummy and nor do we want that. <laughs> so yeah, just wrapping a few things up around here and we'll take you with us on the border crossing. We're here in Ajo, Arizona. Yeah, we're on our way to Mexico with the RV. Yep. Last year we went into Mexico. On foot. <laughs> yep. This year the bus is going to come with us and we're going to go down to the ocean. It's a little different taking your whole house and your vehicle. Yep. Um, but we're going to go down for at least a month and relax on the beach and just have the best winter weather that we can. So, we're excited. It is a really good trip. Both hobbling at the moon. Getting ready to head south and just exploring a little bit of Ajo our day before we head down. Quite beautiful here. Nomads are citizens. I love that. We're here at Gunsight Wash. It is our last night in the U.S. for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're going to head down to Mexico in the morning with our friends and we'll be down there for in a, a few weeks. We're not sure, at least a few weeks to a month, but... Yeah, Gunsight Wash and the towns of Y and Ajo have been a great place to stage, meet up with everybody, sort of like refill our tanks and fill up on whatever other things that we need before we cross the border. And yeah, this is it. Yep. So tomorrow we'll cross the border. Viva Mexico. Didn't really know what to say.